So I've been wanting to talk about, of course, the Indiana Jones trilogy, the original trilogies. Of course, we're not going to count Crystal Skull because I'd be, it, it wouldn't be pretty. Just to get a little hint of this trilogy before, of course, the new movie comes out, which are, a lot of people are, are looking forward to, <laughs> I, I guess. But anyways, let's talk about the first film, which some consider one of the greatest films ever made. And that movie is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark is an action-adventure film, and it's about the character of Indiana Jones, this archaeologist who is a, who everybody knows who he is. He's an adventurer who wants to collect these, these, these little things, man, for, for the museum, and he's told by the government that the Nazis are gonna try to capture the, the Ark and that he is hired to go try to capture the Ark and before the Nazis go and use it for its powers. And of course the film is PG rating. The runtime is about 116 minutes in color. The movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. This film is everything you expect. I've heard a lot about this movie, I've never seen it. Of course, I've heard about it. I've seen maybe scenes from this movie, but I never sat down, put put, put the film on, and said, "Let's let's watch this movie." And I gotta say, it's everything that people said it was. It is masterful. It is truly an amazing movie from beginning to end. It is exciting. It is thrilling. It is suspenseful. Even there's times where I'm watching that movie, saying, "Holy shit, this is rough." This is for for its rating. It's pretty. It's pretty tough to see sometimes. I was like, "Holy shit! Wow!" 1981 was different, ladies and gentlemen. When it came to when it comes to the the rating system, it was definitely different, and it shows. The film is of course directed by the great Steven Spielberg, one of the greatest directors of all time, known at this time for the movies, of course, a TV movie, Duel, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and the film Jaws. And not only that, the story by George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars himself. So these two, like, just working together is like two, two, it's like pecan and a pie. It's like these guys, they work well together and you see in this film and it's amazing. The film is very well made and I just loved every minute of this film. And the performances too all around are great, specifically Mr. Harrison Ford playing Indiana Jones who, again, is this archaeologist. He's known by people. He's an adventurer, and he tries to capture these, these little, you know, the stones or just artifacts, and he loves them. This is, this is what's something he loves, and he's a complete badass with, of course, he's a human, and, human as well, and he wants to go find the Ark and try to make some money as well. He's amazing. Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones. This is his character. He's same as Harrison, same as, same as Han Solo, same works with Indiana Jones. This man is Indiana Jones through and through. He's amazing, and I wouldn't I wouldn't choose another man to play Indiana Jones. He's a badass, but also a human. He's human. He has fears, and at times he's fucking running away, trying not to trying not to die. He's but at times a complete badass who shows who who gets the job done. Even Indiana Jones, Mr. Harrison Ford played him amazingly. You also got the supporting actors. You got Marianne, who's a love interest in this film, who has a pretty cool introduction. I mean, Indiana and Marianne have two amazing introductions. And you see her drinking, trying to beat this man, and like, who can contain the most alcohol. She's a badass, but also knows how to talk, who's, uh, who's funny, and also just you can tell the history between her and Indiana and the, and the love interest and the love and just their their past and their history and Marianne's great. She's a great love interest for what I've seen in movies. She's really good. She's a badass who gets shit done as well. And she's also takes could take care of herself. And she's good. She's cool. We also got Sala, who's the he's in Arab he's Arabian, or he's friends with Indiana Jones. They've been close friends. They had a mishap, but they're cool. And uh, yeah. Sal is really cool. He's a cool. He's funny. He sings songs, and uh, yeah, he's he's a really good part of this movie. I really liked him in this film. He's hilarious, loving. He just wants to help Indiana Jones, and he's great. He's great. The main villain you got Rene, who's um, and also an archaeologist, but works for the Nazis, and yeah, he's 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 cool. <laughs> he drinks with the girl and everything. Um, yeah, he's cool. He's a cool villain. 
who try who competes with Indiana as well. You also got that Nazi dude who's fucking scary. I mean, the, see, there's scenes where this man is just terrifying, and and he's just he's a Nazi who wants to get dark, and uh, he's fucking terrifying. My God, he is scary. Um, he's great though. He's a great menacing villain in this movie. I thought he was awesome. And you also got another Nazi guy, a general, a leader. He's cool. He's, a, he's another menacing villain. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, but the villains itself is just the Nazis. You try to stop them. And those Nazis, just you want them to die, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. All around, all the performances are really good. The acting and the, uh, and the performances, specifically by Indiana and the crew, is really good. The direction by Spielberg is amazing. This is a very well-made film, very well-shot film. There's scenes where I'm just like, wow, that is beautiful. And just a great, uh, and the action set pieces are fantastic. I mean, scenes that are just great, like the scene of the boulder and the, ch and the car chase and the freaking plane. It was just, it's awesome, the action scenes. And it's, and it's very, and it's well done and it's also practical practical effects everything that's done in camera it's done on camera and it's ex it's crazy how what they do at this time of course at this period in the 80s it was really exciting and interesting and the writing is very well written the story is really good the characters have such depth and such love and yeah I mean, shit well, indiana jones is amazing he's a badass the chemistry between everybody is great i mean the love between the two is really good especially him and his friend just the chemistry all around is really good everybody works very well together the cinematography, I mean, there's a scene where they're digging and shit, and it looks beautiful. I mean, and the scene where he tries to get the map, and it's awesome. I mean, this is a very well-made film and a very well-shot film as well. The cinematography is amazing. The music by the late, great John Williams is amazing as well. Uh, John Williams' score, the Indiana Jones theme, is known for years and years and will always be known. And the costume is great, the time period and how everybody dresses is great. And yeah, this movie is just amazing. I, 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 when you find a movie that you have very little bad to talk about, it's, it's always fun because it's like, well, there's nothing bad to talk about. This movie's a masterpiece. I mean, Spielberg did a, a beautiful job with the action scenes and just the, the practical effects at this time here at this time period and Harrison Ford really just getting in there he really got he really you find he freaking got in there Harrison Ford did not back away back away from it and he's great this movie is a legendary film it's a film that people will always talk about it's a film that people always will, will watch and it's quite possibly the best film ever it's up there and shit so it's a really fun film and it's really exciting and it felt like a kid watching this movie, so. Those are my thoughts. I'm gonna give it, without a doubt, a legendary rating, a six star. That's not a surprise, well, that's not much of a surprise, ladies and gentlemen, we expect. I'm talking about Raiders of the Lost Ark. Where are you gonna get? You're gonna get that rating. I'd be damned if I, <laughs> if I didn't give it that. Anyways, this film is amazing. You should absolutely see it. So yeah, those are my thoughts for Raiders of the Lost Ark. If you have not seen it, please watch it. It'd be, I mean, if you love movies and if you love films, that's a must watch. See Raiders, you know, just see that film. It's worth it. It's worth it. Anyway, so those are my thoughts. <laughs>